Explain it in 30 seconds. Go. This is the chassis right here. This is the main uh, brain. Okay. And these are the handles. There's the their handles right here. This which is this that goes up to get the noodle. Uh huh. And uh, these are the side they contract for mm -hmm. the big boxes, and okay. then they open up for the uh, the bigger boxes to close okay. it in and stack it on top. They can move up, move okay. sideways. And what's this? this? This is the same as that, just in a different angle. You mean a, a different view, right? Yeah. Like a top view. view. Mm -hmm. And what are these inches? I mean, these are. This is gonna be twenty inches. This okay. is sixteen inches. Mm -hmm. Four, yeah. Okay, so the whole robot is gonna be thirty-two inches yeah. wide by thirty-one inches. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. All right, hit the red. Basically, it's a pretty simple design. Mm -hmm. There's a chassis and then a tower. Point to the chassis. The chassis. Okay. It's got a tower. Yeah, it's got a tower. How tall is the tower? Um, it should be like. About 20 to 30 inches. Okay. Or I'm not sure yet because uh -huh. I'm not sure which one would be optimal. Okay. And on top, the head would be scanner. Uh huh. So it would see the boxes and such. Okay. And um, would have a mechanical hand for grabbing noodles and possibly crates. But what about uh, grasping a recycle bin, which is a, a cylinder, not a box? Um, I didn't think about that. Okay. And why would the sensor be up here if the boxes are on the floor? Because it would take the noodle. It was made for taking the noodle. Okay, hit for stop. Um, all right, so um, this design was for the robotics competition. Mm -hmm. And it's designed to have two sides one with a forklift to mm -hmm. pick up the totes, and one with two curved arms to pick up the garbage cans and the noodles. Okay, point to the two sections. Um, so that would be the the curved arm and mm -hmm. then that would be like the forklift okay. and like turns so and you see here as well uh -huh. and it's designed so that if you press a button or however you do it it will turn to pick up whatever is necessary like if you need to pick up a tote you switch it to the side with the forklift and then if you need to pick up a garbage can you switch it to the side with the arms and how does it switch by rotating the um, the bottom part there okay. It'll be on a platform right. that, can, that it'll attach to, mm -hmm. and then it'll be able to turn okay. so that you can change it. Okay. Um, How, what are the overall dimensions of the, of the robot? Uh, it's uh, somewhere between four and a half to five feet tall, so it's, it, it's tall enough to stack up mm -hmm. the totes and mm -hmm. anything it needs to stack. Okay. And the base is supposed to be 32 by 31 inches, right. so I just did it to fit. To accommodate the, the chassis, yeah. right. Okay. And the the arms like this are 18 inches long, mm -hmm. and the forklift is 17 inches because that's the size of the garbage can and the totes. Okay. And also the side with the garbage cans has a curved top, uh -huh. so that it's able to throw the noodles. Right. Because in the rules you're supposed to throw noodles on the other side before the end mm -hmm. to make your opponent lose points. Okay, but you can do that manually. You don't need the machine to do that. Oh, okay. Okay, hit the red, hit the button. Button. Yeah. So the, the, the design that I made, the part right here, mm -hmm. it's supposed to go underneath and lift up the box. Okay. So that gives the most points, lifts it up, and we can place it on the other totes. Mm -hmm. And the part right here, um, no, we can put noodles in there, and we can put it at an angle so it shoots out the noodles mm -hmm. with uh, little wheels on the side so we can gain extra points. Okay. And the part right here, it's a... Uh, once the toad is on, it can tilt it back right. and lift it up, so there's no way of it to fall out. Okay, great. Okay, hit the button. Thank you. Okay, go. Okay. Um, for this robot, I thought that the arms for the robot would be on conveyor belts, right? So that you can move it forward and back easily. Okay. Um, the arms are like they bend. To to grab uh, mm -hmm. totes. Okay. And this rubber pad is like for the friction to be able to pick it up. Okay. And they just bend like that. Um, okay. And then for this one. Uh huh. Um, this one was the one for the can and for the litter. Oh okay. So this one grabs the can and just this is like retractable so it can go up or down. Okay. And then this one is like a claw so it can grab the litter and. It's oh okay. Also retractable here. Okay. This also goes on our conveyor belt so you can move it. Far back. Okay, great. Thank you. Hit the red button, please. Go ahead, Jen. All right, so um, 
basically my design is a is a box, but it's very very tall, so it, it can reach um and stack the totes. Okay. And I want to use um a pneumatic system, which I'm comparing to hydraulics because I'm familiar with hydraulics. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be clamp um the arms to be attached to the pneumatic system, so it can go up and down using the pneumatics. Okay. And I want another extra motor on the arms, so it could clamp together and hold the the bins, the noodles, mm -hmm. and also the the boxes. Okay. And also, I want to make a separate small chassis right here mm -hmm. to protect all the essential systems. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, great. Hit the power. So. The my robot can hold the toads within itself, and there's conveyor belts uh -huh. that move the toads in and out of the robot. Okay. And on one side of the robot, there's a long, something like an elevator for right. the forklift to okay. go up. Okay. And it's high enough to stack up to four toads. Okay. And on top of the robot, there's a arm mm -hmm. that can take the pool noodles mm -hmm. and put them into the garbage cans. Okay. And this forklift is also big enough to hold the garbage can and move it to its position. Okay, so you, this won't have an issue with grabbing a cylindrical uh, recycle bin or the tote. And you want to store the totes internally, kind of like in the belly of the robot. Yeah, so it can, it can take up to three at a time and right. bring it to the destination. Okay, hit the power. Very good.